Hey everybody, welcome back. This is another TTM video. We like to get autographs TTM or through the mail. Send your favorite athlete or celebrity a photograph or a card along with a self-addressed stamped envelope and you'll be quite shocked how many times you can get a return. We like to come on here when we get returns we share all the information we can let everybody know that way if they see their favorite athlete or celebrity they can say hey well, I can get my that autograph from my personal collection. I'll have my email down below shoot me an email in case you need any information leave a comment down below too after you watch the video if you have any questions at all and uh, we've got four returns today so let's get right into it. First one's coming from where? I didn't even look at the postmark. Tampa St. Pete. And it is Big Daddy. Big Daddy Rick Ruschel. He's 70 years old now. We are getting old, guys and gals. 70-year-old former right-handed pitcher, as you see here, for the Giants. Played for about 20 years in the big leagues. This may be his rookie card here, but it's a archives. Flashback to the 73 tops. Signed two of two in black. He played from 72 to 91, several teams, including the Cubs and the Giants, as you see here. He also played for the Pirates for a couple of seasons in the mid-80s. Nicknamed Big Daddy because of his svelte physique. Uh, won 214 games in his career. Had a great career, 2,000 Ks, three times an All-Star, two times a Gold Glover. Um... And his brother played, his older brother Paul played, in, in fact, they played together for three seasons, um, maybe four seasons with the Cubs, Paul and Rick Ruschel. So there was, you know, he's kind of anomaly signing. I think there's a window open, guys. If you want to get Rick Ruschel's autograph, go ahead and uh, shoot him a card. There's been no returns on um, Sports Card Forum since 2016. And now a little window's opened up. I've seen a couple different returns from him. I got that back in 15 days, no fee. So go ahead. If you want to get Big Daddy's autograph, send it now. While well, there's a little open window. This next one's coming from a Pittsburgh, PA. As I said, I for some reason the mail runs very quickly between here, Charleston, West Virginia, and Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, which again is a three-hour and 45-minute all right, and it is a quick one. It's Dave Justy. Dave Justy, this is the um, the group of pirates that I got from our man Tony Black. Does a great job on his channel. Check out Tony's channel. I just got this last week. I told him I was going to send it out. And um, this is my third return from Dave Justy, I think, two very recently. I just had him on a, a video just uh, two or three ago. So he's 80 years old now, and as I said then, his daughter said he wasn't feeling well, and he loves to get fan mail, he loves to get autograph requests, and she got on Facebook and encouraged people to send Dave Justy letters and autograph requests, so I was uh, more than glad to help out. And then when Tony mailed me his package of Pirates, 74 tops, I uh, decided to send him again. Why not? He does sign in ballpoint uh, most of the time on cards. And then he did not sign the index cards, so that's okay. Reuse those for the next time. But he uh, he led the league with 31 saves in 1971, the same year he and the Pittsburgh Pirates won the World Series. Um, he was an all-star a few times. Again, appreciate uh, Tony. I sent. I think that's the only one I sent because now Jim Rooker is charging a fee, so I did not send that Rooker card out, but... Um, there may have been one other that I sent out from that 74 group. On to the next one, it is coming from Louisville, Kentucky. And it is, hey, it's the custom card that you saw in my mail day video uh, a couple weeks ago. We got those customs made. Look at look at that autograph. A little shaky, Joe B. He's 91 years old, though. I don't blame him at all former uh, head coach for the Kentucky Wildcats for 14 years from 72 to 85, University of Kentucky. I sent him two, sent him these two customs that I got from uh, TTM Autographs Galore page on Facebook. The owner of that page makes custom cards, and I got these customs for, I think, a dollar each. 
They're blank backed. They're about a little bit stiffer than an index card, but he does pictures. He can do them in color, black and white, or what have you. And it looks like Coach Hall sent me this one, his own card, from 77, 78 uh, year, made by Wildcat News, which must be the uh, school newspaper, maybe. They printed there on campus. Cat card, number seven. <laughs> and that may be fading a little bit. Looks like he wrote that in... Just like a felt tip pen, maybe, which is sticking fine to these, uh, the cardstock on the customs. But as I said, he's 91 years old, so autograph getting a little shaky. I don't blame him. I hope I can still write my name when I turn 91. Don't mind the shakiness at all. Appreciate Coach Hall sending those back, but uh, that's the year they won the national championship in 78. They had um, Jack Givens and future NBA star Rick Roby, future NBA guy Kyle Macy. Um, guy off the bench for that team was Dwayne Casey, who's now the head coach of the Pistons, I believe, after coaching the Raptors for several years. But that team was loaded. They won the national championship in 78, and he was national coach of the year that same year. There's a statue on campus in Lexington of Joe B. Hall, and he's in the College Basketball Hall of Fame. So that's not long. Let me see. That's just three weeks, 21 days. 21 days, no fee, University of Kentucky hero and Hall of Famer Joe B. Hall. Fourth and last is coming from Indianapolis, Indiana. This may be the other one that I, we've seen recently on the Mail Day video, and it is college basketball superstar Rick Mount. He's 73 years old now. Played college. He's a legend in college basketball ranks. Sent him two. He signed two. Yes, these old vintage basketball. I love those corny poses. Look at the shadow work on those photography. <laughs> That's just great. Rick Mount, legend at Purdue. Um, well, he's a legend in high school in Indiana, first of all. He was the first high school player to ever, ever be featured on the cover of Sports Illustrated. And that was 1966, the year he was uh, the Indiana High School Player of the Year and High School All-American and the National Player of the Year. And he signed to play at Purdue, and the legend continued. Of course, uh, freshmen weren't eligible back then, but as soon as he became eligible his sophomore, junior, and senior year, he was All-American Averaged 33 points a game as a junior, 35 as a senior. And I think I mentioned this on the Mail Day video when these two cards came in. These are purchases from eBay. That he's probably the best, high school, uh, the best college basketball player uh, we've never heard of, really, because he just happened to play his junior year behind a guy named Lou Alcindor, who became Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, who was the player of the year in the NCAA at UCLA, won several championships there. And then the senior year, he was um, uh, second to Pistol Pete Maravich at LSU. So, And he was averaging 33 and 35 before the three-point line. So you got to believe that uh, he might get close to 40 if the three-point line was in play at that time. But he lives in uh, Lebanon, Indiana, and there's a there's a there's um, like a silo or maybe a water – uh, tank at the beginning of town. It says, Welcome to Lebanon, home of Rick Mount, the greatest shooter that ever lived. I mean, his shooting was legendary in high school and college. And I just got that back in 10 days. You've just seen these two in the Mail Day video I did uh, last week or so. So 10 days, no fee for basketball legend Rick Mount. Well, that's it, guys. Big Daddy, Rick Russell, Ruschel, uh, Dave Justy, Joe B. Hall, College Hall of Famer, and Rick Mount, who's also in the College Basketball Hall of Fame. Appreciate you watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up if you like what you see. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe and then hit that notification bell. You'll be notified of all my future videos. I'm going to get some more TTM returns, more mail day videos, a box break here or there. Of course, I'm always uh, ripping junk wax on film. But uh, stay tuned for more videos. I appreciate you guys watching. Give me a big thumbs up, and uh, we'll see you soon.